Hello everyone. Today we'll try to solve uh, this kind of loading in Codaster. Here uh, there will be a structure of uh, height 10 meter and thickness of 1 meter. Actually we'll use 3D model. Here I have represented it as a 2D model and the structure will be loaded with a triangular load as shown here by blue graph which will start at 0 in the top and 9810 at the bottom this is a kind of hydrostatic load to the dam here main thing is that uh, the pressure will be perpendicular to the surface of the dam on the loading phase and the depth and loading will vary accordingly that means the load will increase linearly with the depth of uh, dam so in codaster we will use function to create such kind of loading and do the analysis okay let's get started first let's create a new document Let's go to the geometry module. Let's create a box with the dimension of uh, 1 meter in x and y direction and 10 meter in z direction. Now let's create groups. These groups will be useful for making groups in mesh model first let's create group for applying the load let's name it loading phase next let's make group for the support let's call it support phase mm, for convenience let's save the file i'm making a new folder once it's saved let's go to the mesh module let's create a new mesh using the previous box geometry we'll use a simple hexa hadrons with 15 edges on each faces let's compute the mesh the mesh is ready now let's create groups based on the geometry Let's select the geometry and apply it. This will create mesh groups in the mesh. Now we can use it for further analysis. Let's, let's just check the dimension of this mesh when we compute it by selecting the mesh we'll get the z max is 10 meter and z minimum is 0 meter notice these values because we'll be using it in code aster analysis to make loads z equals 0 to z equals 10 for convenience we can export mesh Let's go to code aster module. We start by making new stage. We read the mesh first. Format is made. Okay. And then let's define the finite element. What kind of finite element we have to do? Let's use mechanic everywhere. 
and for modelization let's use 3d because everything is in 3d now let's define the material for now let's assume linear isotropic with Young's modulus of 33 gigapascal and Poisson ratio of 0 0.2 Let's assign the material to the model. Since it is single, we apply everywhere. Now let's define a function that will define the load that varies from z equals 0 to z equals 10 meter. So we select z and for coordinate we'll apply as follows at minimum coordinate at that is 0. This is load is 9810 and at 10 meter height the load will be 0 that will create a triangular load actually it's not load yet we'll have to define it as load later for now let's define the boundary condition first let's make the support by selecting the support face and marking it as fixed which is relation in cars there. Let's name it fix for convenience. Next we choose Afe Kara F. Afe Kara F is also a kind of way to apply load when functions are to be incorporated. We choose the loading phase and then use press and use function that's all now let's carry out the linear static analysis let's select the material and for loads and supports we have to choose fix and load zero Now let's write the output. I will write the output in two formats. First will be mat format for graphical output. I will rename it result.rmat and in result section we will put the result of linear static analysis. It is make a static. Okay. Again I will Impress result that is set output results but this time I will choose a text format that is called result I'll rename it as uh, result.text and inside results uh, I will put it the analysis part the wrestling part and that's all now we have to perform the analysis and before that we have to save it now let's run the program yeah it's okay inside data file we have all the required files the text file contains all the displacement data this is the part of analysis If we go to mesh model, we can find the node number that we saw in text file. We select mesh and select numbering. Yeah, these are the number of nodes. That is node IDs. This we can relate with in the text file to see the actual displacement. We can also open the rmate file in Paravis by using this link px notice the displacement of around one millimeter yeah that's all for today hope it was helpful main thing to take away is that we used formula to create variable load that was triangle load in our case and we used uh, this triangle load to perform 
linear static analysis. Hopefully it will be useful to you. Thank you very much.